Hi all this is Max from HTCEvoHacks.com Today I'm going to show you how to install the NAND Unlock the NAND on your phone Thanks to the guys at XDA Developers So first connect your phone As a disk drive uh, It is for me Press OK And then you're going to want to download these four files Flash image mt.emg.img Recovery.img um, and the flash image so all we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna copy it over to the root directory of our SD card on the HCC EVO which is this one so I'm just gonna go like that yes I have a recovery image from earlier Oh, you know what? I did something wrong here. No. What I want to do is copy it into the folder or into the drive. I had a zipping on me. Let's do that. So it's nicely copied over, as you can see. Um, next, we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna back up our current state because. Uh, this will erase everything. Let me adjust the camera real quick. All right. So let's reboot. Oh, we'll have to reboot into the uh, recovery mode. So um, turn off our phone first. Let's put it in the. Uh, turn it off. Okay, and then hold down the volume button, hit the power button. We're gonna put it into recovery real quick, because the only way we can get to Android right now is by via command line. But but by installing this, you'll be able to get into the recovery menu without having to use the command line. So go to recovery and hit enter. And that's done. Make sure it's connected to your computer. Let me open up a command prompt. CMD. Then go CD slash SDK. That's where I put it. CD tools. Just the camera. Oh no no no! You gotta go to recovery. Go to the recovery uh, Evo. Uh, CD Evo recovery. Uh, this is the same zip file you had at the beginning when you unrooted the phone. Do the recovery Windows that that. Now we can get into NAND. So, let me adjust the camera again. So now, in, now we're on NAND. So we're going to just make a backup of our current system. Because when, um, when you do this, when you unlock the NAND, you're going to have to like pretty much erase everything. But you can restore it. So let's back it up first. Uh, NAND backup. Hit the power button. Hit the power button. And I'll be back when the rec uh, re backup is done. So now it's complete. So let's go to the next step. Next, uh, when it's done, hit power. And then let's just power it off. Oops. And we'll put it into uh, recovery mode again. So power again. And just reboot it into normal mode. And then connect it as a, just a charge only. And then go back to your command prompt and go to uh, your SDK tools directory. Um, and then do ADB shell. So you can get into the shell. And then we're just going to copy over the commands. The uh, cat, this, this one first. From XDA developers. 
uh, press enter. That should go through. And then, um, sorry, we got only got one hand here. Oops. Copy. Copy and paste everything. That way it's easier. Paste. Enter. That works. And then copy this guy. Oops, the, the last one. I don't know if you see it. That one. There. We're going to paste it. Right. And we're done. Uh, now we're going to power off our phone. All right. And then we're going to zip the new. So, just adjusting the camera. You file. So, let's go. You gotta copy over the PC36 IMG to your SD card. So, you can do that. Connect your phone as a disk drive and then add it to your your SD card on the ACC Evo. Next, when this is done, we're gonna uh, start rebooting our phone. Flash the uh, PC thirty six IMG zip. So let's do it. It's almost done. It's still copying. Five more seconds. All right, let's get back to the phone. It's uh, powered off. And then when we get back into bootloader mode, uh, your phone should try to update it. So. Hold the volume button down, power button. There we go. And it's going to check and uh, it's going to update it. So let's just update it. This is going to take a while. Let me take a break. Uh, Alright, it's still loading. Just say yes, yes, and uh, you know, update this zip file and then reboot it. We're almost done here, so <laughs> I'll be back. Alright, now it's asking me for uh, the update, so start the update. Volume up. Updating. So you see the red progress bar. So let me be back after this is done. Yep, it's complete. Just uh, press up to reboot. Volume up. And I'll be back when it reboots. So the phone's rebooted. You don't have to do anything, just leave it there. And then uh, go back to your command prompt and do ADB shell and then we're going to copy over the commands uh, let's do this one, copy that I already copied it, paste alright, then the next one chmod 755 copy paste the next one do a copy and then paste
Oh, wait. Um, I think that's... I don't know, I got a bad block. But, uh, let's try rebooting it. Uh, reboot recovery and see if we got it this time. Reboot recovery. Okay, so... Let's go take a look at the phone again. So hopefully we we'll get the recovery menu. Yes, we did. So let me try that again. So now we have the recovery menu. We don't have to do that command line anymore. Thank God. Anyway, let me power it off. What happened? Oops. I don't know what I did. No, I think I just rebooted it. So now um, you got the recovery image in there. Don't do anything. Just just skip everything here. Next. Skip. Skip. Okay. okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect it as a, a USB drive. Oh, there we go. I mean, disk drive. And then we got to go back into your disk drive and get rid of that PCM. 36 zip otherwise when we go into bootloader mode every time we're gonna have to wait like a minute so go to your e directory and see that one you don't need it anymore just click and delete all right now we can boot a computer i mean evo 4g into bootloader mode anytime so turn it off and we're going to restore the earlier ROM that whatever you had on there because this is like going to make you set up all the way from the start so let me get my eclair back on so now you don't need a computer to get into the bootloader so hold down the button power button okay and then just go to recovery Ooh, that's that's faster And voila, no more um, messing with the command line. This is the way it's supposed to be on most Android phones. And thanks to Toast at xdadevelopers.com. Um, now we're going to do a backup restore. We're going to restore the ROM we backed up in the beginning. You don't have to do wipe for NAND. You don't need to. So, I think it's this one, yep. So select the date and then hit power button. It's restoring. So now I've got a uh, NAND unlocked. I've got the boot, the the restore menus in recovery flashed. So don't I don't have to come back uh, to the command line. And now I'm restoring, and I'll be back when this is done. Yippee! Our uh, my phone is now restored completely. Let me reboot it just to make sure. Uh, hit power button and power button again to reboot and I'll be right right back after he boots up so my phone booted up fine let's just double check I've got all my apps and all that so yeah so I got my Claire back now I've got an unlocked NAND with uh, with the uh, the recovery menu in the ROM Alright, thanks a lot, guys. See you later.